on, we're going to get to the last part of the show where we are going to talk about uh, the Sonic Central event. So before we get into anything, what did you think about this event? Personally, I had no idea that this show was happening. So uh, what did you think about the announcements and everything in general? Um, it was about what I expected, honestly. You know, I expected a bunch of uh, like the first stuff to be like, hey, like look all the um, you know, old stuff, merchandise, or whatever. And then you know, obviously, I, I kind of expected the Sonic Colors, uh, you know, remake to happen or not remake, remaster to happen as that was a Ravi teased, and I think it had a, a ESRB rating or Ravi. And I expected either a Sonic Adventure remake or a new Sonic 3D game as well. Like that, that's kind of what I expected, and that's kind of what we got. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, overall, I think that the announcements that they made were fine. I think that there were things that we obviously expected with like Sonic Colors and a new Sonic game to be announced because there have been articles where they were like, yeah, we are working on a new Sonic game. But in this way where they showed off like a little, you know, like CG sort of uh, cutscene or whatever, you know, like, hey, you know, we're, we are working on a new Sonic game, guys. Uh, and then, you know, with the whole merchandising stuff, you know, like this was definitely a lot better than them just like sort of like tweeting it out with like a, a bunch of pictures or whatever i definitely think the funniest sonic merchandise thing was the goddamn jewelry that shit was hilarious hip -hop. i was like god damn. <laughs> yeah hip-hop <laughs> to, to all of our hip-hop heads out there i was like god damn it um, oh yeah dude. <laughs> i wonder i honestly wonder how much is that gonna be and how many are they gonna sell that that is my real question but um yeah sonic colors ultimate uh that got announced it's going to be released on september 7th and it's coming to xbox one playstation 4 and switch and it's only going to be 40 dollars, which is very cool uh which some people have taken it as the opportunity to go on twitter and be like hey hey uh nintendo you should take a page out of sega's book but i'm gonna argue uh that nintendo they can do that because it's their own fucking console. And also, Nintendo has this sort of, I'm not going to say ego. It is kind of of a ego, it, but, you yeah, know, they, kind of <laughs> they view their games as like, you know, they're, they're fucking high quality, you know, like even after years, you know, when we remake it or like, you know, we port it, like it's still like up, up to that value, especially since, you know, they did some changes to it. So it's still $60 or whatever. But, you know, I would definitely be the one to say it should be at least 50, you know, but. Anyways, you know, $40 for the Sonic Colors remake is very cool because it came out on the Wii and a lot of people uh, during that time, you know, if they were Sonic fans and they didn't have a Wii, probably weren't able to play. But now it's coming to all these, these platforms of last generation slash current generation with the Switch. So very, very cool. Yeah, uh, you know, obviously Sonic Colors is one of the better Sonic games. You know, Sonic, I count Sonic Colors and Generations as, I, I can really see no, not too many issues with them. You know, I could, mm -hmm. I could comfortably call them good games. <laughs> you know, there's yep. no like caveat. <laughs> you know, it's not like, I, I really like Sonic Unleashed, but the Wirehog, or like, I like yeah. Sonic Adventure, but only the Sonic levels. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, Sonic Colors and Generations are obviously some of the best Sonic games out there. So it's nice to see this one get a sort of re-release uh, out here. Mostly because, you know, it was only on the Wii. It wasn't on anything else so it's gonna be good for maybe people that haven't even played sonic colors before to uh, get a chance to play it and it's at a discounted price or ravi at 40 bucks so yeah i'll probably pick it up again since i really like sonic colors you know i think it's still a good game um and i'll be excited to play it again because you know I, I really like sonic colors <laughs> yeah it definitely gives us a reason to replay it and it gives me a, a opportunity to replay sonic colors in general and do a video on it so i'm very excited to do that this upcoming september um and then there were some other announcements uh we're not going to go over everything here guys uh but i think that uh the sonic the new sonic game with the whole uh you know cg thing is probably the big one so um, yeah what do you think it is <laughs> um so yeah i i think we both had the same thought where i, I do think it's another boost formula game just because you know it shows sonic running fast i mean it could also have wisp as well because when he was running you can sort of see like the little light uh, like the uh what do you call it the laser wisp like looking thing like mm -hmm. you don't see the it particles. but you see like the particles yeah you see like the particles of like the laser wisp so it, it seems to me to be another boost game with wisp in it uh, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, so Sonic Adventure remake. I I, I doubt that. I think they're saying that because of the um, the sort of like tribal looking backdrop the Sonic Team logo was on and on like the Zap thing, the weird alien language thing. Like you know, oh, it's like like to call, right? Like that's like I'm like probably not. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I mean, it could it could be an adventure remake with the boost formula, but I highly doubt that. I, I definitely oh, think it's boy. gonna be that that would be really <laughs> weird because that kind of takes away the whole point of an adventure game anyway. Was the more free forming platforming that those games had and the, the, like no other Sonic game has done since then. 
Um, so yeah, I highly doubt that's an adventure remake. Uh, I definitely think it's another boost formula game with Wisp. We just don't know what exactly it's going to be called yet. Um, and, uh, and that is a little disappointing. I, I was kind of hoping that we were done with the boost formula after uh, Sonic Forces. Since, you know, I, I think they've done probably the best 3D Sonic games with that formula. But I think it's time to sort of change it up. You know, I, I would like to see them take the adventure formula and modernize it to be better than what it was. Um, you know, there's a lot of improvements you could do with the Sonic gameplay in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 uh, to make it, like, really perfect. And that, I think it would just be, like, a great Sonic game if they did the, uh, do that. And just, like, you know, don't have any of Sonic's friends. Just focus totally on sonic have more sonic levels and that'd be a great game uh but i don't know if that's what they're going to be doing because you know it's so sonic boosting everywhere so yeah that that's sort of my assumption of what this new game is gonna like be like so yeah um you know it was just a cg trailer guys i'm, 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 not, I'm not sure what i should really take away from this um yeah. <laughs> i know that the sonic uh youtube channel like they chatted in and said this looks familiar and i was like uh oh you're gonna cause a fucking shit storm if it's not a remake now yeah. <laughs> um, but you know some people saying that it is a adventure remake some people say that it is a new game i'm leaning towards it's a new game maybe re go maybe him going through old territory again maybe somehow chaos is back maybe it's sonic adventure 3 who the hell knows you know because all they gave was this trailer and he's in the ruins and he's running fast and he has these particles around him which i thought was really cool um but you know people out here analyzing the goddamn curvature of his goddamn shoe and i'm like what are you guys <laughs> doing um you know like we haven't had a new sonic game since forces which you know sonic forces were not that good i'm gonna be honest you know some people can say that they like that game more power to them me personally that game felt really really lacking uh on all parts really like nothing about that game really felt solid to me um yeah. so you know hopefully with this one they're able to bring sonic slightly back to form um even with just the story or even with the gameplay like anything that is you know clearly good about this one um but yeah, you know, either way, whether it's a adventure remake, whether it's a new game, I'm going to be happy either way. We get a brand new Sonic game uh, coming this September either way, uh, quote unquote brand new with the Sonic Colors remake. Um, but, you know, whatever this new game is going to be coming in 2022 on next gen platforms, I'm looking forward to it. I hope that it can bring Sonic back into a positive light because, uh, like I said, Sonic Forces was the last Sonic uh, experience that I had, uh, you know, as a new release, and it was not that good. Uh, so, you know, obviously Sonic Mania before that was really, really good, and I really, really, really loved that game. Um, but, you know, that was made not by Sonic Team. That was made by pretty much a studio that were fans of Sonic and knew how to create a classic game within the genesis style um so yeah you know whatever this sonic 2022 game has to offer i'm up for it sonic adventure remake sonic adventure 3 a new game in general whatever it is yeah um yeah i, I mean i just hope that it's good <laughs> because <laughs> we can't kind of afford like they're kind of like i feel like they're hyping this up more than usual since they you know they, there is no release date or anything not even like a title it's just show that yeah it's a new sonic game so i'm hoping it's bigger than anything else they have made recently but i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see and what whatever the entails and that we probably won't get more information until next year uh which kind of sucks but um i mm -hmm. guess that's just how it is as long as it can take their time and make a good sonic game i guess that's all i care about um you know, Sonic has always been really up and down in terms of game quality, so hopefully this is another up since, you know, Forces was the last game to come out, and that wasn't very good, so. Like, I, I even bought, like, I didn't buy Sonic Forces during launch, I bought it, like, a few years later for, like, 20, or, no, less than that, like, 10 bucks, and I mm -hmm. beat it in, like, like four hours, or less yeah. than that, like, it was, mm -hmm. it was, like, I'm like, alright, I mean, alright, I guess, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't very good. I forget how much I paid for it. I, I definitely bought it at launch because, you know, I'm the Sonic guy and I and I have to make a video on it. So I was just like, well, I'm going to buy it. Hopefully this is, you know, a decently long game. And then I finished it in like one session. I was like, Shh, or maybe two. It's probably two. But I was just like, shit, like, goddamn, it was really that short. You guys had three different gameplay styles with classic Sonic, modern Sonic and the create your own character, which I was still 100 percent against when they announced that. I was like, goddamn it, you guys are buying into the fandom of people creating their own OCs and everything like that, which, you know, <laughs> it's cool to see fandoms do that in general, but when it mixes in with the games, that's when I'm a little iffy on, okay? Like, it's... It's actually like super duper cool seeing like the Sonic community, you know, like create their own characters, you know, create their own sort of, you know, 
people pretty much you know within this sort of sonic universe um but when it mixes into the games that's when i get a little iffy on because i like to keep certain things separate if you will um but hopefully that wasn't too controversial from what i said um but yeah you know sonic it has always been up and down you know like me and, D- me and david have been following sonic all our all pretty much all of our lives yeah um, and you know hopefully this is another up um whatever this entails because this is the 30th anniversary sort of game that they're i guess hyping up um which is why a lot of people have huge expectations for which you know me personally you know <laughs> i guess i'm getting to that age where it's like you know it's any old birthday you know it's it's just another year you know <laughs> um yeah. but you know hopefully because they are doing a lot of stuff uh with sonic in general because they announced a lot of other things within this sort of sonic central event with the ios stuff other in-game appearances like in the tokyo 2020 game which looked really, <laughs> really funny cursed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looked really funny because you just have sonic running around with like these human characters and i'm just like <laughs> yep this uh this, this definitely fits in here um and then you have the sonic netflix series with sonic prime which it was pretty much them being like we are passionate about this project and we are looking forward to bringing you guys this thing and i'm like all right cool um but you know outside of that you know the obviously main announcements that people are super focused on are the two games that we discussed but yeah i mean is there anything else you really you want to talk about or dive into with from um, this event no that, that's really about it i was, it was mostly the new game and colors <laughs> <laughs> i mean sonic origins you know them redoing that's or cool. doing another uh, yeah it is cool doing another re-release of the classic titles but i think someone on twitter pointed out that you know there should there should be some love towards the you know adventure titles and sonic there heroes should and, be, yeah and, and things like that so you know hopefully maybe maybe they got something planned because uh i think that they said that they have a lot more planned that they haven't announced yet so maybe they have a sort of sonic mega collection but with the 3d games i think that 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 would be very cool even if they are just like straight up ports and like high resing it to the to you know hd or whatever i think that that would be very cool but you know we're just gonna have to wait and see because uh this 30th anniversary celebration i'm pretty sure is just getting started because they describe sonic as like a multimedia sort of character which is is true you know within comic books within uh cartoons within movies now so yeah yeah i I'll say sonic's popularity probably got a, a big boost from the movie actually so mm-hmm. it doesn't surprise me that it really started like taking like you know you see like they're really pushing like movie sonic like a lot like oh you could get like like a baby movie sonic keychain <laughs> you could get like you know all this other stuff in the sonic colors remastered like it's uh this is really pushing it because i'm pretty sure that movie did pretty well so um yeah they probably they probably want to take advantage of this like new hype for sonic that people are having so um but yeah that basically um you know uh, I'm, I'm also hoping for a 3d sonic collection at some point you know uh, it'll be cool to play sonic adventure 1 and 2 with like some new features maybe to fix some things you know delete big from sonic adventure 1 you know, <laughs> things like that you know that'd be really cool uh, but yeah I, I would also like to see more love for the 3d games but who knows maybe that is what they have in store we just gotta wait and see honestly yeah, and one last thing. I can't believe we skipped over this. The Sonic Colors animation, Rise of the Wiss, I think that that's yeah. a pretty good name. Uh, is Roger Craig Smith back? I don't know. He was in oh, yeah, the yeah. Uh, sort of presentation. Yeah. They said, they said um, yeah, he, he's back to doing Sonic, I think. Like, I think they couldn't find a better voice for Sonic, so they're just like, <laughs> okay, you're, you're still Sonic. I think that's what they did with uh, Mike Pollock as well when he was like, I think when they were replacing everyone, but Eggman was like, okay, you could stay because you're like good. Um, I'm pretty sure they're just going to keep him as Sonic because, I mean, I, I, I I'm pretty used to his voice at this point. Like, you yeah. know, he, he, he sounds like Sonic to me now. So it'd be kind of weird if he just wasn't Sonic anymore. And he still, he seems really passionate about the character anyway. So I don't really see why they would like just move away from him at this point. So yeah, I, I think keeping him is the smart decision, honestly. Yeah. And since we're getting a remaster of his first game as Sonic, Sonic Colors, yeah. that is, you know, obviously fitting. Uh, but yeah, this animation, uh, I think with every other animation that we've gotten so far, there has been no voice acting. So the fact that they are, you know, bringing on a, a team of voice actors from the games to this animation is very, very cool. It's going to come summer 2021. I'm sure it's going to be on the Sonic YouTube channel as usual. Um, but yeah, you know, Roger Craig Smith coming back, uh, sort of, you know, I guess getting getting his job back because Sega was like, well, shit, all of these people, you know, they kind of sound like Sonic, but, you know, uh, can they do the same things that they wanted from before i guess i don't know it just seems a little weird that they let him go and then they brought him back but 
uh, you know, I guess, you, like you said with Mike Pollock, I mean, literally, how are you supposed to replace Eggman from Mike Pollock? There's literally no way. Like, there's no reason to replace Mike Pollock, you know? Um, yeah, but, I mean, I feel, I, yeah, I feel yeah, the same way. On. Like, Yeah, I was going to say, I just feel like I don't get the point of just changing the voice actor. Like, obviously, he likes Sonic, and obviously, he just sounds like Sonic. Like, if you're going to find another voice actor that sounds like him, then why not just keep using him? Like, it's kind of just like a weird... Unless you want to take Sonic in a totally different direction personality-wise, which they won't, because, you know, mm -hmm. his whole personality is being too cool for school. So, like, you know, having, <laughs> having him keep voicing Sonic just seems like the normal thing to do. Like, the only time you should really replace a voice actor is if they get canceled or if they, like, die or something like usually it's like or unless they don't want to do the character anymore as well obviously that's yep. also an option but you know obviously if they still want to do the character just let them do it <laughs> so yeah mm -hmm. yeah definitely cool to see him back but you know he was definitely a very weird limbo for like a couple months i think where it was like all right who's gonna be the next sonic voice actor but you know i guess that that case is closed for now uh once again so until they want to replace him again or roger craig smith doesn't want to do it anymore but yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much all of the important stuff uh, from the Sonic Central event. It was only like 12 minutes long, so if yeah. you want to see everything that was announced on there, you can check it out on the, I believe it's on the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channel. So, But is there anything else you'd like to add, good sir? Um, no, I think that's everything. All right, so thank you guys for listening to us once again. We will see you guys two weeks from now with our first impressions of uh, Ratchet & Clank Ripped Apart. Oh, that's crazy to think about. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later because that's hype. <laughs> <laughs>